All three of these hardworking ladies recently laid off from their jobs. Some of them got through the unemployment line with no problem, others didn't. It seems like you're chasing your tail um, no matter which route you try to contact them with. Robin Knight got laid off from her manufacturing job on Saturday. She's been calling the Department of Labor's 1-800 number ever since, trying to sign up for unemployment. Yeah, I sat there with my cell phone for like every half hour I was calling the 800 number and getting the busy signal yesterday, which is outrageous. We checked in with the commissioner of the Department of Labor today. Laura Fortman says the phones being down is a statewide issue, not just affecting the Department of Labor. Unfortunately, under times of stress, all infrastructure shows any flaws or cracks. And I think that's what today, that's what we're dealing with with the phone line. And we wanted to know why the unemployment phone lines are only open for a few hours in the morning. The reason the phones are only open um, during the time frame that they are is because the same people who are answering the phone are also processing all of the claims that we're getting. There are plans to hire more people to help process all those claims. There are 30 people doing the job right now. Back on the Scattergood Farm in Brunswick, these women are volunteering their time to help stock the shelves of local food pantries. Jamie, laid off two weeks ago, got her first unemployment check a week later. Very glad I filed when I filed. Robin is still trying to get her first check. It's, it's scary. Um, I mean, my husband's working, so we're probably better off than a lot of people, but it's still, um, we live paycheck to paycheck. To make matters worse, the state's phone system is down. The Labor Commissioner telling us to not call that 1-800 number, to actually go online and keep trying that way. We're in Brunswick, Jim Keithley, WMTW News 8.